Yo, welcome to another video. I am your Tactical Power Pro. If it's your first time checking my channel, welcome. I am an Air Force veteran, a former electrical power production technician, which is a fancy way of calling a general mechanic in the Air Force. So please go ahead and overcrank that like button and subscribe to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. So let's waste no more time and let's go straight to today's video. All right, let's learn how to properly troubleshoot a generic generator with an overspeed fault. This is the 1200 or the 1205 error code. And there you see the generator tried to start but shuts down with an error code 1205. And what does this code mean? Let's take a look in the generic Bible. We were looking for the troubleshooting flow charts and the evolution controller e code, which we can find on page 91. So, on page 91, we can find the overspeed alarms, and the codes are 1205 and 1200. The 1205 error code occurs when your frequency goes over specified hertz for 0 0.1 seconds or 100 milliseconds. And the possible cause is your stepper motor mixer. And now that we know the description of the error codes, let's move on to the action step which the book tells us to perform the test 54. On test 54, we'll be checking the stepper motor control. Started by gaining visual access to the carburetor mixer trotter linkage. Set the control to manual, and then we gotta observe and record the stepper motor movement. The stepper motor should sweep the mixer linkage and trotter plates to a full open position, opening both venturis back to a closed position, and then to the starting position. Okay, so after observing the stepper motor movement, set the controller to off. If movement was not seen in step 3, gain access to the underside of the controller and verify the 10 pin connector on the controller is sitting properly. Remove the connector and then reconnect it. Repeat steps 2, 3, and 4. In my case, I had zero movement in the stepper motor, so when I checked for the connector, the 10 pin connector was unplugged. Plug it back in. As the generator started and no fault was seen. That fixed my issue. But if this does not fix your issue, let's keep on looking in the book. If the movement was seen but other problems persist, continue the next step, which is remove the air cleaner cover to visually access the carburetor makes your throttle plates. Physically move the throttle from closed position to wide open position and verify that the stepper motor, linkage, and throttle plates do not bind in any way. If any binding is seen or felt, replace the carburetor mix assembly. On the other hand, if the throttle movement was without difficulty, but the problem persists, continue to the next step, which is setting your multimeter to measure resistance. We're going to test resistance at the stepper motor 10 pin 4 wire connector. The table 3-11 stepper motor testing shows us the test point A, test point B, and the resistance value which you have across them points. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do the stepper motor testing with an old stepper motor I had from another generator that had to replace the entire mixer. So this is how you do the test. For the test, you do not need to take the entire stepper motor out. You just need to get access to the 10 pin connector. Just pull it out and you can perform the test from there. Once you got the connector in hand, you can clearly see that your test point A is your red wire. Test point B will be either your orange, yellow, brown, or black wire. Place your meter to read resistance ohms and put one of your leads on the test point A, which is your red wire. And then you go across the rest of your points B, which is your orange wire. In this case, I have 11.9 which is a little bit high 12 11.9 on on the yellow wire we have an infinite we got an open brown wire which is that's a big issue 
and then the black wire we have also 11.8 so all these resistance values you get from each test point then you compare it to the one on the table so we have we should have approximately 10 to 11 ohms and each text test point but we had close to 12 and in the brown wire we had an open line an infinite so which I'm, be, I'm testing right now and every time I move the stepper motor it made contact so that signs that this is a faulty stepper motor when that happens sadly you can just replace the stepper motor you have to replace the entire mixer assembly so if you have a back stepper motor Go ahead and remove the old mixer assembly and proceed to order a new one. Once you install the mixer, do not forget to connect the stepper motor 10 pin connector to the back of your controller. The stepper motor should sweep the mixer linkage and throttle plates to a full open position, opening both venturis back to a closed position and then to the starting position. And there you have it. That's how you repair a Generac 1200-1205 overspeed fault. If there's any other general fault that I can help you guys with, let me know down in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.